right okay so we've made some changes to the um to the original file we've changed the color of the sky we've changed the color of the sand sort of in my example we've got some other layers going on where we've made changes to our beach huts so we're starting to edit the original here in a way that is maybe more intentional more colorful um, and we can specifically pick out areas that we'd like to make changes to so that's handy that's a good thing to know about um, other things we might want to be able to do when regarding color, making color changes. So uh, we might very well want to use the gradient tool. That's quite a handy one. So I'm going to make a new layer it just pops up above whichever layer I was on. So I'm going to pop this layer up to the top. We can move layers up and down just by dragging and dropping. So my um, gradient tool lives here under my paint bucket. In fact, my paint bucket might be something that I do want to have a go at. Let's have a look at paint bucket, for example. I'm going to choose a green color and I'm going to dump a paint bucket of color over the top of my beach huts. Now, what I might want to do is I might want to change the opacity of that possibly. So how opaque or transparent something is. So I can make it very transparent there. You can barely see it at all. I can put a little bit of a sort of hint of color over the top here. Um, and that might be something that, that we think is, is interesting or relevant or something we'd like to have um included i might want to change the layer styling so i might want to work through my menu here of layer styles so it's interacting with everything below you know for example maybe i like the look of this i don't know maybe you do maybe you don't but there might be elements where you go oh that's quite interesting i like it um so we can use a paint bucket to sort of dump buckets of paint where we want them if i had a selected area and i dumped a bucket of paint for example uh let's make a selection from just our beach huts we'll make a new layer uh, we'll change the color and we'll dump a bucket of paint here we turn this layer off we might end up doing something similar just in a selected area for example okay so uh, the paint bucket can be handy uh, and is something that you should know about we can also use the gradient tool in exactly the same way that we might want to be adding layers um, of interest of color so we can select a gradient oh, didn't mean to do that we can select a gradient by double clicking on it okay we then have options here where we can add remove or change colors so we could have more or less colors and we can um change the colors as well so i can double click uh, and i can change the color i can literally make it whatever i want and you can see the gradient changes and you can see you know what that would look like if i had whatever the color might be as a starting color so i might like that one and say yeah that's perfect that's exactly what i want if i just drop uh, just with my left mouse button i can drop stops so i can make changes to the gradient as it goes along for example uh, and so on and so forth so we can make this as vibrant and changeable and colorful as we like so let's say we're happy with that we can okay it we've got a little screen view here of what that's going to look like once we drop a gradient in so i'm just going to turn off the viewers on all the other layers just so we can see exactly what's going on with this gradient so it's we've worked with this tool before when we made our uh man our digital marbling so a gradient that goes from one color to the other color if we just drop from left to right or diagonally uh, we get changes in terms of how that view views to us if i use a short click with my mouse then I get more of a distinct set of lines if I use a longer selection then it spreads it out more I can use different types of gradient uh, to do things with so for example actually let's just use this one as, a, as an example for my demo uh, maybe this would be sort of some kind of like sunbursty kind of effect and maybe when I turn my layers back on not background um i might use this as some kind of sunshiny lighting effect maybe um so you can have a little play around with gradients as well they're quite fun and they're quite good to know about the other um way of applying i suppose color in a particular area would be using your paintbrush you're familiar with paintbrush uh, because we've used them in 
Illustrator and the paintbrush works exactly the same way. So we've got the paintbrush tool um, and you can choose how big it is and how hard um, or soft it is. And you've got different brushes available to you that you can test out just by clicking on them. Uh, they'll give you different different effects. So um, brushes are useful to know about and they're useful um, for, for adding areas, adding in specific um, types of, of colour, I suppose, in specific places. So for example, and then if I were going to draw with my brush, um, I'm doing this on a new layer again. And I, again, I might decide that I want that to be an interactive sort of something going on. I might be more particular about where I put it. For example, maybe I'd have you know, a bit of colour just over the tree, for example. Um, and that might be something that I'm trying to achieve. OK, so we've got paint bucket, we've got gradient tool, we've got paintbrush. The colour is going to always be what's in your foreground, if it's something like a paintbrush or the bucket. And if it's the gradient, then you're going to work in a different menu to be able to have um, the range of colours that you're looking for.